Welcome to our 2023 Fleet Safety Awards. As many of our viewers will know, we launched the program in 2022, and as a result of the phenomenal response and support that we enjoyed, it was a given that we would be running this in 2023. The big difference between this event and last year's event is that we've got a number of partners, and in one in specific is our headline partner, and that's Suntum Heavy Haulage Insurance. We're going to invite Anton Corneliusen, who is the head of that department, to join us in a moment and just give us his views on the Fleet Safety Awards. Anton, please join us. Hi, Eugene. Hi, Anton. Maybe just uh, uh, introduce yourself to, to the audience, because remember, this is going not only to your customers, it's going out to a wealth of people. And when you get requested for autographs in future, you know why, all right? Awesome, thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. So yes, um, I've been with the Suntum Group for, for 30 years now. Um, so I'm getting close to retirement in another 20 or so. But uh, <laughs> I've been in, involved in heavy haulage for the past 16 years. And we literally took a business um, that was, was in a very small infant stage to, to one of our larger um, businesses within the specialist business um, group of Suntum. Um, that's business including um, corporate and, and marine aviation. So it's all our specialist lines of, of businesses. So early on, we, we recognized um, the need to, to do more than just insurance good and proper, as we say in Suntum. And that's to get involved with, with our client base. And I think if you look at throughout Suntum's 105 year history, um, we, we do participate with a lot of um, CSI projects, initiatives throughout the country from the Western Cape um, up until um, Joburg or, or, or areas that, that we do business in. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been a journey. We've, we've seen a lot of changes and I'm sure it's sure. So and we'll been. see And we'll see a lot more, won't we? Uh, maybe that brings us to the, the following point that I would like your view on, please. Um, what made you, as Suntum, decide to participate in our, in the Master Drive Fleet Safety Awards? How does this support you or endorse your commitment? So obviously from our side, there's a real commitment towards road safety. And, and we've partnered, partnered with, with numerous institutions in the past, and, and some of those are longstanding partnerships, and I, I can't see that we'll ever exit out of those agreements. But the one reason is... is um, as you know, we can reach a broader audience um, if we work together. Um, I think and all of us are the, the, the one thing that, that's universal throughout all these organizations is our passion for, for road safety and road users. And, and nobody can do it in isolation. And, and it's not a task just for government or for private sector. It's got to be collaborations between all of us. Um, unfortunately, as you know, we, we're all financially limited to, to budgets and all of that. So we have to, to look for the best um, fit in, in partnerships. And, and I think with, with um, the initiatives we're currently involved with, that, that's going to be the best, um, not just for us, but, but our clients out there and the drivers out there and every road user. So it's not a very simplistic um, um, view of a thing. There's a lot of components that will make up our um, involvement and our commitment, and same as with you. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, you know, uh, I must just tell you, um, we've now got the results, and I'm not going to share that with you, no matter how much you pay me, all right? So <laughs> it's going to be revealed on this Thursday at the actual awards, and I know you're going to be there, but if I can just make a comment on what uh, we see sometime from our perspective, you know, in so many instances, they prepare to put money in but they don't support it in other ways. And, and one of the privileges that we've had, of course, is sharing this platform with you. You have not just been a contributor to by way of resources, but you fully committed to the scheme. So that brings me to, to another point, if I can ask you to give your comment on why would organizations, and you can talk in general, um, why would organizations that are keen supporters of road safety uh, benefit and add value to themselves by sending participants or as partners in this uh, Fleet Safety Award. I think um, one of the reasons, and, and I take it to our fleets, and, and we do interact, although we intermediated 100% of the time, we do interact with our clients. And I've been to numerous um, clients and, and premises over the years. And where you see a real big difference, and, and I'm sure you'll, you'll agree 100% with me, the moment you drive through that entrance gate, um, you see the difference in the business. Yes. And it's the way they, they look and the way they operate. But... Um, 
especially with with our wellness days where we interviewed um, drivers and all that the, the, the information we get out of that is just it's priceless it's the value yes. um, is, is so much but when you see that same ethos with the, the owner of the business and a risk manager um, are caring about people and their circumstances and the families and all of that, um, you just see a better organization and you see the culture. Um, yes. So for us to partner on any person to partner in that, um, although initially it could be a capital outlay, it will be more money spent on the business, but the rewards is, is just never, um, never ending. Um, yes. You see it in the attitudes of drivers and the way they behave. And for us, obviously, we're still a business. We, we still um, uh, owned by shareholders and, and we need to, to, to give return on those funds. Um, for us as a business, whenever we collaborate and we do something with regards to either is it, it's driver training or it's fleet um, management or it's the fleet safety awards in this instance, we recognize people for good behavior. Um, that is going to inspire somebody else in that business. Listen, I want to be part of this. I want to be seen as a good driver. Um, and then we see the benefits and then the client will see the benefit in his turnover, yeah. in his business, less downtime, um, fuel economy, all those things. So um, I always say that it's not one big thing. It's a small yes. bunch of smaller things or, or a lot of smaller things. And and spending time and, and energy on this, um, for us, it's it's great to interact with, with clients and with um, and although they're not clients of ours, they're still insurance clients, but they're still yes. part of the logistics sector. Um, so to get that broader reach where we get to interact with people. Um, our journey started a, a few years ago with, with Master Drive, but the people we've met since, um, and it's just so amazing to have these sessions because everybody's so passionate. Yes. And they're not being yeah. cut, and that's the best of it. Um, it's not about the money. It's, it's about improving and every time we, we see a claim where, where somebody didn't comply with legislation and we try to send this message across, this is not just about insurance. It's Suntum, it's us trying yeah. to do the right thing to enforce yeah. traffic rules because at the end of the day, it's going to benefit all of us. Absolutely. You know, I must just uh, add a comment on, on the awards that we're doing here and thanks to your participation, uh, it's, it's possible. Last year, we only recognized the fleet manager who epitomized safety uh, and then an organization. But this year we've expanded it. And the one area that is really of interest to me is the road warrior. And some of the nominations that we've seen, the support stories that, you know, would endorse their, their behavior and their attitude are remarkable. And I think we choose as an organization to look for the good out there uh, because there's so many bad things. We don't want to dwell on that all the time. And I do think we've, uh, thanks to you as well, the best employer. And of course, uh, interesting one is a truck stop. And uh, you'll see a bit of a surprise for that when the awards take place. Yes, so uh, last point that I'd like to have your comment on, what message, and you've partially covered it, but why, would, why should all organizations who consider themselves responsible, environmentally or otherwise, why should they take the lead in promoting road safety? Obviously, Eugene, we, we all have relatives on the roads and friends and family and all of that. We want to see them safe and arrive at their destinations. Um, unfortunately, most of the time, and we all had this incident where there's a truck in front of you, and we always try and blame the truck driver and the truck for, for doing something wrong. But it's actually not like that. Um, and yet again, people sometimes do fail to understand how difficult it is and how long it takes for a for a 30 odd ton, ton truck to, to stop. Um, yeah. So for me, it's just getting involved, showing that we care about the drivers. Um, if you look at the hours and the time these guys spend on the roads, and it's to our benefit. Um, we were talking about rail yesterday. I said, it's fine, we can go back to rail, which is impossible, but then you'll have to wait a week for your cappuccino to come from the from the <laughs> off. So yeah. we're so dependent on, on the whole industry as a whole. And, and we've seen so many changes, like I say, over the year, and so many people participating, and it's all for the better. Yeah. You yeah. know what? In yeah. short, that's my message. Okay, that's great. And in fact, can I maybe ask you and tell me whether you support this or not? Um, you know, I, I once did a, a trip from Joburg to Durban with the specific intent of doing it there and back on one tank of fuel. Of necessity, I had to travel at 80 kilometers an hour. Now, that's the speed limit for trucks. I challenge any CEO out there that wants to understand what his drivers go through. He doesn't have to get into the truck, but just drive in his car or her car for that distance uh, just between here and Durban. And then they'll know the challenges that some of the drivers and trucks have. So thank you for that input. And maybe just a last uh, 
parting message in about 500 words or less. What's your parting message to Fleet Safety Awards? So obviously we 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 um, excited about uh, tomorrow or, or when uh, Thursday Thursday. Yeah. Um, excited to see who's who's going to be nominated, who was nominated, and who's going to um, eventually win the rewards. But for us, it's just that everybody should just join in this. Um, yeah. There's no there's no big role. There's no small role. We we see it a lot with with other initiatives we have. We welcome everybody, um, even if it's a competitor. Um, obviously not right next to us, but. Out of the picture, out of the shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what's so exciting about the, the group of people we're part of now is that everybody is so committed towards yes. road safety and improving the conditions on our roads. It's not about being selfish. It's about yes. the bigger goal and the greater good of everybody being safe on the roads. And I'm so glad there's so many institutions being part of this, as you've seen yes. in, in your growth since last year. And then the more we we, we promote this and we're visible out there and we stand next to the highways and we promote road safety together with government, the more people will get involved. And eventually, yeah. um, and the nice thing is, and that's going to be my parting message, um, we, we're all a product of our environment. So our kids grow up seeing us swearing and going crazy and getting all our rates on the roads and whatever. So once you start being involved in this and you spend time with drivers and then spend time with like-minded people you just relax and you're more relaxed on the road yeah so obviously yeah. we try to get it a next generation of people that's tolerant towards everybody on the road and respect road users and road rules and surely that will bring down um, the, the deaths and, and casualties on, on the roads thank you uh, just uh, before you leave us Anton, one of the reasons why we started with the fleet safety awards it was almost like an elephant gestation period long uh, but we wanted to recognize individuals within organizations who sometimes are perceived to be the worst people because they want to enforce strict standards. And it's primarily with regard to road safety. We want to do award them or reward them. And, and I think this enables us to put the spotlight on them, both within the organization and externally, because we speak about them. And then of course the organizations, uh, I know that there's some that we won't change, but I think one of Mahatma Gandhi's famous, more famous quotes was, be the change that you wish to see in the world, or words to that effect. And along with yes. you and our other partners at a corporate level, I believe we're leading the way. So thank you. We look forward to seeing you. And we'll say goodbye to you now, Anton. We'll see you on Thursday. And I'll just do a quick wrap. Please be reminded, folks, that the Fleet Safety Awards, we've added uh, various categories. We've cutting across all lines now, light, medium, and heavy commercial. We've introduced Best Employer, Best Road Stop, and of course, probably the highlight is the Road Warrior, a driver that epitomizes everything and all that is safe on South African roads. So with that parting message, we look forward to seeing you if you're joining us, but please remember there's also a virtual attendance and we've got capacity for over 500. Anton, thank you for being with us and we shall see you again. Cheerio. Thank you, Eugene. Appreciate it.